Here we are. Sean and Lucy, can you two help Alejandro get inside? I can still walk. You sure? Seriously, are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. I'm Jirachi. Yeah? This isn't the Pokemon Center. This is a spa. What? Why did you teleport us to a spa? How is this possible? I totally remember this area having a hospital the last time I came here. And when was that? Like a thousand years ago. Well, things change over a thousand years. Well, yeah, I know. But it still feels weird. One day you fall asleep, then the next- Dude, dude? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Barbara, where is the Pokemon Center now? It's a few blocks that way. Quickly, follow me! Hey, you're finally awake. Oh, what happened? You passed out, and your friends brought you here. Where is here? The Pokemon Center, of course. Was it something serious? Well, normally, yeah. It would be considered serious. Ouch! Sorry. But, you know, it's good that your durability was beyond my expectations. How come? My guess is you have really high defense. What level are you? 98. Wow. Is it like a human thing to be that strong? You knew? Everybody knew about it. Pokemon have been chattering all about it in Kelly since this morning. So I guess everyone is aware that humans have entered this world. Mm. Sorry. Is that something that personally bothers you? No, not really. Hey, if it wasn't something too serious, why did I pass out? Well, at first, I thought it was eternal bleeding. A possible complication from all of your broken bones. Uh, what bones? Two broken right legs. Five broken ribs. Oh, and turn around, please. That sounds like some major internal damage. Yeah, but... That's nothing a heal pulse can't fix. Well, good to hear, I guess. Sorry, I wasn't thinking the tooth will be an incisor instead of a canine. The what? Yeah, you had a few more teeth stuck in your upper thigh. Oh yeah, I remember now. Yeah, that Luxray wanted a piece of me. Literally. <laughs> yeah. Now that the surgery was a success, I can finally ease my nerves a little bit. You were nervous? Naturally, since I had never treated a human before, nor did I expect to treat one in the first place. But seeing that Jirachi and the two shinies, I knew that something was up. I was afraid I'll do something wrong, but luckily, it turned out. You had the normal body of a cute little Sylveon. Lucky me. Well, you should be good to go now. Really? Yup, your bones should be fully healed in two weeks. So, I don't want you to put too much weight on them, or move them too much. That includes going into dungeons. Seriously, just two weeks? That's not a lot of time for broken bones to heal. That's heal pulse for you. Oh. Make sure to use this every day. What is this, a potion? No, <laughs> it's shampoo, silly. Um, why? Because you were left with some really ugly scars. And this is specially made to grow your fur back where those scars are. Plus, it makes your fur all soft and shiny like it was before. Well, thank you for everything. And I'll be on my way now. Um... Actually, there's one more thing I really need to talk about with you. What is it? Do you know what these are? Swirly hair things? <laughs> yes, but these swirly things serve a purpose. Like your ribbons, they're emotion receptors. And I can give an indication of how someone is feeling if I choose to touch them. When I do it, I can tell where someone's pain is, which is pretty useful when you're a doctor. But... 
When I did it to you, I noticed you weren't just hurt. You were suffering. Not physically, but emotionally. <sighs> Listen, as a doctor, I care about the conditions of my patients, whether it be physical or emotional. I know I'm not qualified for this kind of thing, so I'll recommend someone in town who is. She's a psychologist and a really good friend. This is her address. Please go see her when you can. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone about, you know, that I'll go tell your friends that you're alright. Come out whenever you're ready. Stop it. I don't want any help. Oh my Arceus, are you okay? Careful now. I'm sorry, I missed up where the Pokemon Center was. It's alright. You sure? You don't look so good. Is your eye alright? I really don't like you looking at me like that. What? What's wrong? <sighs> where are the others? They are waiting for you back at the house. Oh. Oh, by the way, you need to fill this out. Alright. Name? Alejandro. He's male. Last time I checked. Don't say it like that! He is a shiny Sylveon slash human, and his blood type was O negative when he was a human. Uh, I don't know if it changed. Why do I feel like a pet at the vet? I can fill out the rest. Wait, how do you know all this? Oh, I read your mind. Don't do that again. Sorry, I don't usually do that. But I did it this time, just to fill out the form. Next time, just ask. Ready to be teleported back to the others? Right ahead of you. Thanks for everything, Doctor. And Alejandro, say thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you looking after my friend. Sorry if this unusual assignment of yours gave you any inconvenience. Oh, call me Isabel. And there was no inconvenience. I'm always happy to help. I almost forgot to mention. Your eye will be a little red from the swelling and trauma for a few days, but that's normal. You're also free to take off the bandages by next morning. Thanks again. Let's go, Alejandro. Alejandro, um, please remember the thing we talked about. I'll remember. We're here. Um, what was the thing she was talking about? Oh, it was this shampoo she wanted me to use. Hey dude, you're alive. Hey. Sup girl? You doing okay, Mr. Alejandro? I feel better now. Mmm, what's that smell? I made spaghetti for everyone. I hope it's alright. Oh, it's alright. Can I help? Sure. Did you just call Mr. Alejandro a girl? Yeah, I've always called him a girl. They both call each other girls. Before he was a Sylveon? Yeah. Why? Honestly, I forgot. Yeah, we've been friends for so long, I forgot why we started calling each other that. Doesn't that bother you? Not really, which is ironic now that I think about it. Dude, I just remembered something I discovered while I was in the dungeon. What is it? Check this out. Wow. We have claws? That's not all. Here, look Look at my eyes. Wait, I mean, I. Okay. Wow. We have cat eyes? Yo, that's so cool. I could do that too. See? Uh, um, yes? I'm just kidding. I don't even know where my eyes are. Wait, those things on your face are not your eyes? What things? Above your mouth. Those are my nostrils. Oh. Uh, well, I'm going to bed. Wait, we haven't talked about what we're going to do. Listen, 
I almost died today. Everything hurts. I'm very tired. And it'll probably be better tomorrow when I can actually think straight or you guys talk about it without me. Okay. But just wait a little longer. I have gifts. Gifts? Yep. As an apology for getting you guys stuck here. One for each human. And one for Diego and Barbara. Because I don't want them to feel left out. Thank you. Wow, thanks. Wait a minute. Jirachi, we think it's better if you don't give one to Lucy. What the? Hey! But why? You know exactly why. I promise I won't do it this time. What's going on? Lucy is pretty much incapable of making decisions. Well, I wouldn't put it that way. You know, it's true. Every time she needs to make one, she takes way too long and gets all frustrated saying things like, Wait, no, I got this. Just give me five more minutes. Come on! That's not completely true! Remember movie night when it was your turn to pick a movie but you ended up scrolling through Netflix the entire night? Yeah. Or that time I was out and I called you guys to ask if you wanted something to eat, but you couldn't decide on time, so Alejandro ended up sharing his food with you? And you know how I hate sharing my food. I know, I know, but you didn't have to take the wish away! Lucy. You were the one who told us to stop you from making big decisions. I know, but I promise I won't do that this time. Please! I promise! Okay, I trust you. You are weak, John. Alright, but if I end up sharing my food again, we are going to have some serious problems. Oh, like you already know what to wish for. As a matter of fact, I already do. But I would like to hear what the rules and limitations of these wishes are. How did you know there were rules and limitations? There's always rules about granting wishes, like you can't wish for more wishes or something like that. Well, yeah, that's actually the first rule. The rest are pretty straightforward. Rule number one, you cannot wish for more wishes in any way at all. Rule number two, wishes can raise your levels, but only up to level 70. Rule number three, you can wish for a move or an ability you normally wouldn't be able to learn. Except for those exclusive to a mythical or legendary Pokemon. Rule number four. I can transform you into any Pokemon except mythicals or legends. Rule number five. I cannot grant wishes that would hurt or kill other Pokemon. Rule number six. I'm not allowed to bring Pokemon back from the dead. Rule number seven. I can't make you more powerful than Arceus. Rule number eight. If a group of two or more Pokemon go through my dungeon, they'll be given one wish. And they must unanimously agree in order for the wish to be fulfilled. Rule number 9. You can only undo a wish using another two wishes. Rule number 10. You can wish for other things from other worlds. But I won't be able to send them back. This rule is kind of new. Okay, now I'm going to bed. You're not going to wish for anything right now? Don't worry, I'll think of a way to bend the rules to my own benefit in the morning. Well... Anyone else other than Alejandro want to make a wish? Mom, you can finally wish for the house you've always wanted! I think that's a great idea. A house? Yeah, we don't really have a home to live in. We've always traveled around the world. But now we can finally have a place to live in! Oh, in that case, you two can save your wishes and live here if you want. Really? You'll let us live in with all of you? Yeah, I mean, if we're going to be a team... We should stick together. Okay, if it's fine with Diego, I will. I definitely accept. But I thought there were only four rooms in this house. Oh yeah, there are. I guess I'll just wish to make another two. Wow, what's happening? Is this an earthquake? No, it's just my wish creating another two rooms. You guys hear something? <clears throat> oh my Arceus, Alejandro! I'm so sorry, I didn't mean for you to fall. Alejandro, please don't give me that scary look. Let me help you. I'm gonna help Alejandro upstairs. Lucy, John, could you two show Barbara and Diego their rooms? Um, we don't know where their rooms are. Oh, their rooms are on the new second floor. Wow, we both get our own rooms? Sweet! Was it necessary to hold me like this? Nope, but I really wanted to do it. Before I go, do you need anything else? Actually, yeah. Do you happen to have four bouncy rubber balls? Well, that's oddly specific. What are you planning to do? Just some ribbon training. Oh, alright. 
Have fun with that. Good night, Alejandro. Night. Oh, you guys are going to bed already? Yeah, we thought Alejandro had a point, and it's probably better to think about what we're going to wish for tomorrow. Okay then, hope you two like your first night here. Thanks again. Good night. Good night, and thank you again, Jirachi. Good night. Night. Good night, everyone. Why are you all following us? Now calm down. I just want to talk. How did you know? After our last fight, I used the wish on myself to make sure that no one could ever sneak up on me again. Now, tell me why did Arceus send all of you to spy on me? All? Oh, don't play dumb with me. I already told you no one can sneak up. I know everyone else is here with you, so tell them to come out. Heh, <laughs> we just wanted to visit you after your thousand year slumber, that's all. It's been over a billion years and none of you have ever visited me once. What makes this any different? Now, are you gonna tell them to come out or should I do it? Alright, alright! We're coming out! Seriously? Yeah, since we were going to spy on you, we thought we should bring some extra muscle, just in case. Hello, Zygarde and Regigigas. Sorry for almost killing you that one time. See? Everyone is out. Now, how about you put away your eye and be about all of- <laughs> Everyone's out like you asked! Everyone? Then why has Darkrai still not come out? Darkrai? He's here too? Oh, like you didn't know. Since when has Darkrai followed orders from Arceus? What? You know he stopped listening after you did! I'm telling you we didn't know he was here! She is telling the truth. I didn't come with them. Darkrai. Jirachi. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good to see you again. <laughs> I'm happy to see you too, little buddy. You had me worried for a moment. I thought you really joined them. What? You really thought I would hang out with those weaklings? So what were you doing hiding like that? I was actually hiding from them. I wanted to see what they were doing spying on you. Oh yeah. It's about the humans, isn't it? Yeah, that's the thing I wanted to tell you about. Alright, now please explain to me why Arceus would send two surprisingly steadily giants, a shadow with anger issues, scrap metal from another dimension, a time-traveling onion, and this meal ripoff. Onion? Never mind that! The point is that yes, Arceus did send us to find out what you're planning to do with the humans. Well, like I told you a thousand years ago, I wanted to find out what the word human meant. And to figure out if they were creatures from another dimension, capable of being just as smart as us Pokemon. And I'm writing a book about them. Now that you know, you can leave. Well, actually... Are you planning to use humans as an excuse to try and kill Arceus again? Or are you gonna use the humans as a weapon against Arceus? So that's what all of this is about. No, I'm not going to use the humans just like that. It will be cruel to just do that to them. And no, I'm not planning on killing Arceus. I figured that even if I did, it wouldn't bring back what Arceus took from me. And also, I don't see why you guys even bothered to do this. When you could have easily gone and asked Clara what I'm planning to do. Not to mention it's pointless for you guys to spy on me 
when <clears throat> Arceus does it all the time. <laughs> Sorry, I know I saw it coming, but it still makes me laugh how Jirachi calls you out like that. No. Is there anything else you want to ask? Um, yeah. Have you seen Hoopa lately? I woke up four days ago, and of those four days, I spent two of them with the humans. So, no. I haven't seen Hoopa lately. What? Did Hoopa escape again? We think Hoopa is going after the lamp that contains his powers, so... Ugh, would you bags of dirt just think for a second? We all know the lamp can only be opened by Arceus, so it's pretty much impossible to open it. Not to mention Hoopa gave me the lamp in the first place to keep it safe from all of you. Well, we thought... You thought what? You thought that just because we're all mythical, that we should be friends and help each other out? I sleep for a thousand years and I'm only awake for ten because Arceus cursed me to be like this. Darkrai and Hoopa were the only ones who understood how cruel and unfair Arceus could be. But do you all want to know what the worst part was? Before Arceus cursed me, all of you knew what it would do to me. And yet, none of you did anything to prevent it. All of you sat still and saw how Arceus took away my... <sighs> Just leave. Okay, sorry for bothering you. Come on everyone, let's leave. Wanna come in for some pie? Yes, please. Well, that went horribly. It went exactly as planned. So he made Jirachi angry, and one human is precocious. What you talking about? It went exactly as planned. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense, but all this needs to happen in order for our plan to work. I just hope you are right about this. Me too. I can't believe it called me a Mew ripoff. Sorry you had to see that. It's alright. What kind of pie would you- What are you still doing out there? You do remember no one can go inside without your permission. Oh, you're right. Sorry. What pie was it again? Lemon. Lemon? Really? What? I'm allowed to change my mind. I know, but Lemon? You were so into Apple the last time I saw you. Huh. Anything else that I missed? They <laughs> built a new spa place in town. Now you tell me. Here you go. Thank you. By the way, what are you doing now? I'm just making scarves. What? Are you into fashion now? <laughs> no. I'm working on something for my new team. But what about you, Hoopa? How have you been doing? How, how did you... You try this every time I wake up. Not to mention, no one can sneak up on me. Remember? You never let me sneak up on you. Not even once. <laughs> I miss you too. I have to say, the part where Darkrai was holding the ring was pretty clever of you two. For the record, that was my idea. So, the human thing you had planned totally backfired on you, huh? It's not that bad. Not that bad, you say? Let's see. You kidnapped them from their world and families for the sake of your own personal interest. We're already off to a great start. Also, if not for the Sylveon you mentioned, it would be a grim situation knowing that their only way back home is to do battle with some of the most powerful creatures in this world. Okay... That's what you think, though. You could write a book about this. Huh? I probably will. Jirachi, is this that one notebook you told us about? Oh! Yes, it is. You could try to read it. But there's only like five recognizable words in there. 
The one-eyed beast brings death and destruction. What? Yeah, it says right here. How could I miss that? And here, look, it says there's more. Huh? What the? Alejandro, what, what are you doing? Ah, wait, is that the Sylveon you told us about? What the? Hey, he just took my rings. All right, all of you listen up. This is how things are going to work. I'm going to be asking all of you some questions. And all you have to do is tell the truth, and nobody gets hurt. If any of you have questions, ask now. Yes. Alejandro, why are you doing this? I heard your discussion with the other legendaries this whole time. In doing so, I wanted to find out if you were being honest about not using me and my friends for whatever scheme you had planned. How did you unlock the door? I found a paperclip in my room, and I used it to pick the lock on the door. It would have taken me less time if I actually had fingers again. Why did you take my ring? Just to make sure you don't try anything. I have one more question. Are you single? Because I know someone you might like. Um, you might want to stop talking now, Koopa. What's the big deal? I'm just asking because I met this cute little shaman a while ago who would really be into a Pokemon like him. I mean, if he doesn't mind being in a serious relationship. <laughs> okay! I get it! I'm sorry! Listen, I don't have much time, so just tell me what you meant by Arceus spying on you. Because Arceus has this weird fountain which can see everything, and he usually uses that to spy on me. So he can see us, right now? More than likely. Wait, what do you mean by time? <laughs> you and your friends in this world and you have the right to be acting this way but please if there's something you want me to do leave my friends out of it I want three wishes huh why because I just figured out a way to get me and my friends out of this world Are you seriously still angry about that? Yeah. Come on, it wasn't that bad. You weren't there. I saw. Clara, what are you doing back so soon? What's the matter with you? Do you not see what's happening? What? He can't do that, can he? Bring them here, quickly. Scotty. On my way. Just repeat whatever I say, and remember, Neither Jirachi nor anyone else can ever know I'm working with you. There. Three wishes, like you asked. Now can you please let go of my friends? Alright, but don't try anything else. All I want is to go back to my world. And what are you planning to do now? Now... Now, I'll put this away before you hurt anyone. Scotty? How did you get into my house? Who the hell are you? Sorry, beautiful. No time for questions. My boss wants to talk to you. Um... I think Arceus stole your human. Okay, repeat after me. Human, I am Arceus, creator of this world and everything in it. The god of... Um, why are you facing the wall? Oh, was I facing the wall? Sorry, I didn't notice. Had my one good eye open during the teleportation. Oh, that's my fault. Sorry. I swear I'm gonna go blind in this world. You know I was expecting you to bring me here sooner or later. But I could have really used a little heads up or a warning. Not some ever out of nowhere. I apologize for... Wait, you knew I was going to bring you here? But of course. How? When I heard Jirachi outside the base saying that you were spying on him all the time, it got me thinking that all I needed to do was to get your full attention. But why, you may ask? Because it was an opportunity for me to get out of here. So all I had to do was cause some sort of conflict, and I had a contingency plan which I had thought of myself. 
which was to fully recover myself in 20 minutes no matter what. And guess what? The legendaries retaliated, which was a good thing, because that meant I didn't have to resort to actually threatening them with their lives, all for the sake of catching your attention. And look where it led me. Right here. Let's talk. So this is what you wanted? I'm sure the god of all creation doesn't want a human like me around, threatening your offspring now do you? How about humoring me? Would you let me and my friends go? Okay, don't panic. As long as I can read his mind, I know exactly what to say. I'm afraid not- Humans see just like Jirachi, I too am- Curious to see if we humans are capable of defeating all mythicals and legendaries to get to you, is that it? How did you know- That was what I was going to say. Because should I have chosen to lie, I would have said the same thing. Something along the lines of what Jirachi said. Because I'm curious. This is too much on his mind. I don't know if I can keep up. You actually thought I found a way out. And that's why you brought me here. To stop me. Did you really feel the need to use me for something that badly? I can assure you right now, that is not the case. I am not lying. But witnessing your actions and what you have done has piqued my curiosity of the potential of the other two. Let, let, let me just save you the trouble by telling you right now. Lucy and John are nothing like me, so don't even think of getting them involved in whatever scheme you got planned. He's getting angrier. Quick, Scotty. Ask him a question or something. I still don't get it. How did the three wishes fall into all of this? Oh, right. That reminds me. I wish to make it impossible for anyone to read my mind. He knows? But why? How is that going to help you get out? It isn't. But that's what my first plan was. If I can't get out, I might as well get some benefits from my three wishes. Plus, I don't like the idea of anyone knowing what I'm thinking ever since Jirachi read my mind. There. Now this Abra can stop reading my mind. Okay, so he doesn't know about me. What? How did you know I was doing that? You just admitted to it. Okay, I'm in the dark now. Just let him do whatever he wants. We need to be on his good side right now. And now for this! I wish to be capable of using all moves. Why would you desire that kind of power? You certainly don't strike me as the power-hungry type. We literally have to fight titans that control time and space. I think we're going to need all the benefits that we can get. In that case, why wouldn't you give the rest of your teammates that kind of power too? I don't trust them with it. And for this last wish, I wish for the power to transform into any Pokemon that I want. Oh no, with that kind of power... He could blend in anywhere, and we wouldn't be able to tell. But if you already know all the moves, wouldn't you know the move would transform as well? Should I stop him? From what I know, you have to be looking at a Pokemon in order to transform into it in the first place. Huh, you're right. He needs to trust us. It might make things more difficult, but we have to let him do what he wants. That reminds me. Did you really just bring me here to stop me out of fear that I might have found a way out? Okay, now... Wait, I think I know what he wants. Yes, it was all from my own personal curiosity. To have you all stay and observe whether you all were capable of accomplishing a daunting task. Why? Because none in my world has managed to do such a thing. When I had heard that Jirachi was looking for some creatures called humans, I couldn't help but wonder of their potential for power. And what if I refused? It is not in my conscience to force you to do something against your will. If you shall wish, I will let you and your friends back to your own world. But you actually managed to do what I desired. I will let you go to your world and keep all the powers you just acquired. Sounds fair? <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly what I wanted to hear. A negotiation. A reason to stay here. I could do a lot of stuff in my world with that kind of power. Arceus, did you just doom the human race? Remember, this won't matter when our plan works, as he cannot leave this world. So, do we have a deal? All right, I'll defeat all of your legendaries. In turn, you send my friends back to my world, and we've got ourselves a deal. Like I have said earlier, 
I will not force anyone to do anything they don't want. Fine. I'll ask them if they want to leave when they wake up. I shall be waiting. By the way, how'd you get out of this endless void? Ugh! I'll be teleporting you out. Jeez, at least let me cover my eyes first. So, you've seen anyone? I'm not a girl. I know. Well, that's new. Even though we managed to get in the stay, I feel like we still got played. You feel like that too? Yeah. Um, I'm not into Pokemon. You'll come around. What the? Call me. Careful! Alejandro! He's still alive? I'm sorry. Did I hurt you? What did Arceus do to you? How'd you manage to heal your eye so quickly? I'll tell you, but could you bring me a towel, please? And that's what happened. Yeah, sorry, but that's kind of hard to believe, Alejandro. Wow! So it's true! You outsmarted Arceus! How did you learn to do that so quickly? You look just like me! So, Arceus really did get outsmarted. And let you keep your powers, with no strings attached? It seems highly unlikely for Arceus to allow such a thing. My theory is that he'll be planning to use me for something, when I'm with him alone, face to face. Wait, where are you going? It's been a long night, so I'm going to go sleep. Yeah, I also think it's time for us to go too, Chirachi. Yeah, duh, okay. I'll see you guys later then. Bye. Bye! Diego, what are you doing up so late? Late? It's 8 in the morning. Wow, really? Yeah, what were you doing in Jirachi's room? Talking to God. What are you doing here? My mom sent me here to tell you guys we're gonna have breakfast at Callie's. Sounds good. I'll tell Jirachi. Okay. Wait. You talked to who? You overpowered two mythicals all by yourself? Yep. You gained the power to transform and use all moves? Yep. You tricked Arceus, as well as got us a way out in one night? Yep. And Arceus wants us to see if we can beat all legendaries and don't get any compensation in return? Yep. Well, that sounds like an awful lot of work just for nothing. Yep. Why do you have your face against the table? Yep. Uh, I mean, I'm tired because I didn't get a chance to sleep last night. Here you are. A chamomile tea with honey. And judging by your choice of tea, I can tell that you're a relaxed, generous, and endearing Pokemon. What? Oh, it's just that I'm kind of an expert on plants and tea. And I like to tell the customers all the good things their order says about them. Wait, you're one of those humans from another world, right? You recognize us? Well, yeah. Pretty much everyone in town has caught wind about you guys. Oh, sorry. I don't think I've introduced myself. I'm Alice, and today's my first day working here. My name's Alejandro, and today is like my third day in this world. Oh, sorry. I'm not supposed to talk to customers for this long. Psst. Kelly, look. Aww. She reminds me of you when you first asked me out. But could we possibly chat another time? I'd really like to learn more about humans, if you don't mind. Um, sure. Alrighty, see you around then. Later. Anyway, what were you guys saying? What? Why are you guys staring at me like that? Dude, I think she likes you. Yeah, her and like most of the town, so what? You know, don't you find her at least a little bit cute? Sorry, Lucy, but I'm not into Pokemon like you. I'm not into Pokemon either. What about John? That's different! Well, I'ma head out. What? Where are you going? I'm going back to the house. I'd like to sleep at least a little bit today. Fair. Speaking of sleeping, hey Jirachi, how come we have nests instead of beds in our bedrooms? I don't see what the problem is. Back in my day, everyone slept in a nest. You're kidding. Are you telling me I could have slept in a bed this whole time? 
Wait, Mr. Alejandro, we still have to figure out what we're gonna do today. <sighs> Fine. John, Lucy, do you guys want to stay in this world or leave? Well, I already know you two take forever to answer, so figure it out and let me know later. Barbara, Diego, if they decide to stay, could you two level them up? You got it. Thanks. Get them to level 50 at least and spare your mercy. Jirachi, make a tier list of all the mythical and legendaries in terms of who's the easiest and the hardest to defeat. Sure can do. Oh, oh, can I help with that? Sure. Okay, now that everything's been settled, I'll go and take a nap. Ah, in that case, close your eyes. I know the perfect place. What are we doing here? I figured that since you humans aren't really used to the nests, I thought I'd bring you here instead. It's rare for anyone to come around here, so you won't be disturbed at all. Also, since it's just within the circle, no wild Pokemon will be out for blood. So, yeah. Generally, a pleasant spot for a nap. And the scenery is an added bonus, too. Jirachi, can Arceus see us right now? Um, I don't think so. I mean, if Arceus was looking at us beforehand, it'd probably take them two minutes tops to find us again. Since I teleported us and all. Good. Could you hear me out? For sure. It only took a few days for me to almost die twice. And to me, you seem like the only one here in this world who I can trust. So, if John and Lucy actually decide to stay, can you give me your word that nothing happens to them, please? Wow. I never would have expected something like this out of you. Okay, then how about this? I'll burn this entire world to the ground if something happens to them. Okay, okay, forget what I said. You have my word, Alejandro. Also, this is for you. What's this? It's the official scarf of our team. It's simple, I like it. Glad to hear it. Also, if you feel like leaving, the house is just down there. Or if you want, I can always pick you up later. I'd like to be picked up in three hours. Got it. Anything else before I leave? Could you lend me a copy of that book that tells you how to use moves? Sure. Seven hours later. Wakey wakey. Uh, has it been three hours already? It's been seven actually. I was gonna let you wake up by yourself. But after seven hours, I thought you might be hungry. Yeah, I am. A little. Alright, let's go. Diego's waiting for us outside of Kelly's. Alright. By the way, I can teleport now. Damn. Wait, how come we're just waiting for Diego? John and Lucy have actually decided that they wanted to stay, so Barbara's teaching them how to use their moves. They're back at the house right now, but maybe on a different day she'll take them to Clara's dungeon and make them go through it until the both of them reach level 50. Is that an effective way to train? Very. Hey guys. Hey. Diego, what happened to you? Why are you all wet? Oh, it's nothing. I just tripped and fell in a puddle. You fell in a puddle? Here? In town? Yep. Puddles? On a clear day like this? I, I think there was a Pokemon watering flowers nearby. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Do you guys want me to teleport you to the house? Or do you guys want to walk? I'm fine with whatever. I think we should walk. Wait, Diego? Why aren't you wearing the scarf? Oh, sorry. I think my mom has it. So, Diego, you and your mom travel around the world for most of your life? Huh? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Sucks, right? Um, not really. I always thought it was fun. Really? I guess it's just me then. What? Did you travel a lot in your world too? Yeah. When I was younger, my family and I traveled to lots of places because of my parents' jobs. But I always hated it. Really? Mm-hmm. For the bulk of my childhood, I never really got to keep or make any friends. Plus, being the new kid at every school I went to made me an easy target for bullies back then. You were bullied too? Of course. Oh. Did you do something about it? I told my grandma about it and... <laughs> well, I'll never forget what she told me. What was it? She told me this. Mijo, 
you'll never get anywhere if you'll keep letting others treat you like that. The next time they try to take advantage of you, I want you to fight back. But not to fight for the purpose of harming them. I want you to fight to defend yourself. But don't be stupid by throwing the first punch. Always, always be smarter than your opponent. And remember that you are smarter than them. And if you don't listen to what I say, I'll beat you up myself. Now shut up and bring me another box of 50 BMG. Box of what? I don't know. I think she was busy at the moment. Wow. Mr. Alejandro, your grandma sounds super wise and scary. <laughs> yeah, she was. But why would they pick on you? I mean, you're pretty scary to me. It's all thanks to her. Did they bother you because of your middle name? What? How did you know? I found out yesterday when I was filling out your form at the Pokemon Center. Later on, I asked John and he confirmed it for me. Wait, Mr. Alejandro, do you have an embarrassing middle name? What is it? Should I say it myself? Or do you want to do the honors yourself, Alejandro? Or should I say... Ah, <sighs> my middle name is Rose. So your name is Alejandro Rose Mijo? No, Mijo is a Spanish way to say son. Do you think you can teach me Spanish one day? After this whole Rose situation, no. Here, Alejandro. I got us and the others some beds. I don't think this is better. This way! He's getting away! He's near the barrier! Look! There he is! Why'd you stop? Don't you live out there? Yeah, like all the other wild Pokemon! I already told you, I'm not a wild Pokemon! And give me back my scarf! You want it? Come and get it! I want you to fight to defend yourself, but don't be stupid by throwing the first punch. Fine, I'll start! Um, dude, I think you hit a wild Pokemon. Okay, I think it's paralyzed. We should get out of here before the Viper gets up. Oh, you guys already left. Alejandro was right. I am stronger.
Oh, hi. I wasn't expecting to see anyone here. Sorry. Did you want to have this place to yourself as well? Because I could leave if you want. Oh, no. You can have it. I was just on my way to collect some roots and leaves for stuff. Oh, I also brought you some of that tea you seem to like. Funny. I thought you weren't expecting to see anyone here. <laughs> yeah, you got me. I actually ran into Jirachi in town, and they told me that you were going to be here. But, hey, what happened to you? It's nothing. I just got bit by some little dragon earlier. If I may, this cream should help make things better. You should be more careful of dragon types. They have some very harmful stuff in their saliva. Also, don't worry. This cream is all natural. It won't burn when you apply it. Uh, oh my. I wasn't expecting his fur to be this... soft. This should help prevent you from getting any infection. Hey. Mm, yes? Thank you. I really appreciate it. I... Um, yeah, I mean... I was just trying to be nice. And just wanted to... To make you feel comfortable in this world. <laughs> well, I'll be on my way to... Collect those roots I told you about. <laughs> Later. See you around.